everyone. So this video is going to be an honest video and I'm going to apologise for the lighting because I don't know what I'm doing. Everything looks very very yellow but it's better than it looking very very white apparently in my head. I'm not fussing too much for this video because it is an honest video and if I'm trying too hard to make everything look perfect it's not going to be an honest video. Now there is a lot of pressure when it comes to being on YouTube from everything you do whether it's the way you look um, what you post there is so much pressure in so many different ways for everyone on this site. No matter what videos you make there is always gonna it's always gonna be there and it's really getting to me at the moment. Every time I edit a video, I will delete it because I am like, no, my skin doesn't look perfect. You can see that I have under eye bags to here. You can see that my arms look chubby and that my teeth look slightly yellow, even though I do brush them. I promise you I do brush my teeth, but I have very yellow teeth and it's really getting on my nerves. This yellowed lighting does not help my teeth look any less yellow. I really don't think of that. Anyway, I'm going off topic. I have to pick apart everything about me because my friends look perfect in their videos. I'm not going to mention any of their names, but I'll watch one of my friends' videos and everything about them will look perfect. Their hair will look great, their makeup will look great, they'll look good, their skin will look perfect, their lighting will be perfect, everything about them will look perfect. And I'm like, well I'm not that, so I can't upload a video. And that logic is just plain stupid. It only comes natural to everyone to compare themselves to other people and to hate the way they look. But there is a point when you let it take over your life and it gets stupid. I spent most of Summer in a City being too bothered about how I looked to actually have fun and yeah don't get me wrong it was a great freaking weekend in the end but the days or the hours that I spent picking apart how I looked ruined it quite a lot for me and that's just again it's really stupid so I'm being honest with you because I'm hoping when I upload this I have got it off my chest and you can be all like it's fine it's fine and then I can go to uploading normal videos and not caring because that is what I need to do so badly. I make my videos really overexposed to hide how bad my skin is and how bad I look and uh, then it looks stupid because the lighting looks bad and you know I just can't seem to win with myself here. I'm always picking apart something that I do. I literally can't do anything right on YouTube without myself being unhappy with it. And no, this is not a beg for attention because nothing anyone says will make me feel any different, okay? It's what, literally, ask anyone who knows me or anyone who spends with me and they will tell you no matter how many compliments I get, it will not make me feel any different and it will, it will actually probably make me sadder if people compliment me because I'll think they're lying. So yes, this is just a little video to myself being like, yes Isabel, you have bad skin. Yes, you have chubby arms and yes, you have flat hair. Yes, you have yellow teeth and a really weird shaped nose and you go cross-eyed. There's nothing I can do about that. There's nothing I can do to change that. Well, obviously there is, but for now, I just need to get over it and accept it because no matter how hard I want to look like someone else, I won't look like them. It's not how life works. It's if, if it was, that'd be great, but it's not. Isabel, please stop caring because you're stopping yourself from doing what makes you happy over petty little things. And I don't know what everyone else sees. You could all see what I see or you could see something different. It's probably the first one, but I don't know. I have no clue what you all see. And I really need to stop letting how much I hate the way I look affect my YouTube and everything I do in day to day life. My brain has created this thing where it's like, hey, you're not pretty enough to make beauty videos. You're not thin enough to make beauty videos. You're not attractive enough to make videos. Who cares if I am not the general stereotype of a beauty guru thing? Like, who cares if they're all prettier than me? Because I shouldn't. I should just make the videos if I want to make them and I shouldn't let that stop me. So this is me telling you that I am not gonna let that stop me. <laughs> I'm gonna upload this no matter how much I hate what I look like or what I'm saying, I'm going to upload it anyway. Isabel, get over it. Please. Thank you. Sorry about this video. I'm sorry it was a complete mess. By the way, I will have a Q&A video up tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, thank you and goodbye. I'm too far over this side. I need to like scooch over to the middle. Oops.